Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Rebecca. I'm a realtor based here in southeastern Idaho, and I make videos every single week talking about life in Idaho, tips for buying or selling, um, market updates, things to do here, and pretty much just life in general as a realtor and a wife and a mom because things get a little crazy sometimes. Um, but obviously I am starting this video a little different than I normally do and that's because I decided to do something different this week. Um, I am doing a day in the life vlog behind the scenes video today. Um, I haven't done one of these I think in like a year so I felt like it was time for an update um, and today's a good day because I have a closing today so thought I would take you guys behind the scenes and just kind of see what that day is like and what the process is like um, and kind of get a glimpse into it from my end um, instead of the buying or selling side if you're curious. So I'm going to take you along with me today and yeah. I am just heading out right now. Um, I'm meeting my buyers at closing in like 45 minutes. Um, so I'm just heading out. I wanted to give myself enough time to get there and run through Dutch Bros because it's a little tradition of mine that I always get my clients drinks um, when I meet them at signing. So I'm just heading to do that. Yeah. All right, I just got to title. I actually went to um, Hip Sip instead of Dutch Bros because they told me they wanted a soda and they're the cutest. I love Hip Sip. They even wrote little notes on them for them that say happy closing day. Um, so yeah, now I'm just in the parking lot. I'm early so I'm just gonna wait for a few minutes and then head in and wait for them to get here and yeah, shouldn't take too long. I'm excited. I'm just leaving. Um, I just left title. My buyers just finished signing, which is super exciting. Um, now I just picked up our son um, because my husband and I had to like trade off who's watching them, or who's watching him real quick. Um, so now I have him. I'm heading home, and on my way, I'm gonna stop and pick up um, one last closing gift to put in my buyer's closing basket. Um, and I'm just gonna wait. I have to wait until um, I hear from Jenny, the escrow officer, that uh, County has recorded everything. Um, and then I can go meet my buyers and give them the keys to their new house. Usually that's not a super long process. It kind of just depends on how backed up County is that day, but usually it doesn't take more than like a few hours. Um, sometimes it's even quicker if we're lucky. So just heading home, gonna wait for that, um, finish getting their closing gift basket together and yeah, just do some of that. It's a really exciting day. Just picked up snacks, macaroons, macarons, however you say it. She is the best, I love her. I try to do like all local um, stuff in gift baskets, like buying things from local businesses just because for one, I think it's important to do that and I also like doing it for you know people that buy a house here because I think it's cool to just incorporate um, local things that come from this area and support local business owners in the area and things like that um, anyway smacks is great macaroons macarons however you say it um, I will show you guys a little bit more about um, some of the other stuff that I put in this gift basket too um, yeah, just heading home now. Like I said, gonna wait to hear that it's been reported. Um, make some lunch. I forgot I actually have a Zoom meeting with um, someone who's interested in buying some investment properties around here this afternoon. So I'm gonna try to fit that in somewhere. Um, but yeah, just heading home. Also, if you noticed my Burberry purse over there, um, my dad's fiance gave that to me as a gift. I am definitely not that bougie to buy a Burberry purse. Um, so yeah. I 
I just finished putting together uh, my buyer's closing gift. Jace is making a disaster over here because I'm trying to keep him calm while I was doing that. <laughs> Mom life, guys. Okay, as I was saying, Jace is over there playing, trying to keep him calm until nap time. We've got half an hour. Um, anyway, I just finished putting um, my buyer's closing gift basket together. Still just waiting to hear um, that everything's been recorded so I can go meet them and give them the keys. Yeah, that's about it. Thought I'd show you guys my closing gift basket. So like I said, I like to do all um, like local business gifts if I can. So I did, I should have showed you guys this before I put it together. I'll post, I'm gonna make a reel like showing each individual thing. So I'll post that so you can see. But I have a custom cutting board, um, like serving board thing here. It has their initial and their last name engraved in it. That is from Forged Vision Designs, which is actually um, like down the street from my house, which is super nice. Um, this is a swaddle blanket from uh, Ben and James. They're actually my neighbors. Um, and they make a bunch of like super cute baby stuff, swaddles, um, nursing covers, bows, things like that. My buyers are pregnant with their first baby right now. They're due in April, and so I wanted to give them something that would be good for the baby. Um, and my son loved these types of swaddle blankets when he was a newborn, so I thought that'd be good. Um, Smoke and Finn's gift card. Ignore my dishes, please. Um, Smoke and Finn's gift card. That's one of my favorite restaurants in town. Um, so I like to give them a little gift card so they can go celebrate and treat themselves. Um, this is my husband and I's company. Um, we do photography and videography and we do um, like welcome home front porch sessions as a closing gift, just a cute way to like celebrate their new house. Um, Smacks, macaroons, the ones I was just picking up. These look amazing. She has new flavors every week. I haven't tried these. She actually gave me an extra box just as a thank you. So I'm super excited to try them. Um, and then just a little thank you card um, with a little note from me. And then I just picked up a cute little basket from TJ Maxx to put everything in. So yeah, that's my closing gift. Okay, I just heard we're recorded. Um, I just got the email from Jenny at the title company. So I'm just getting the box or their um, gift basket in the car. I'm gonna head out and go meet them at their new house to give them the keys. So I'm in the car heading down to my buyer's house to give them their keys. Um, just let them in, give them their closing gift um, and let them get started. But I'm just really excited for them. They're first time home buyers, which is always really fun and exciting for me. Um, just cause it's such a huge milestone, you know? Um, it's just cool to like help people do that and like see how excited they are and just to start this like new chapter of their life is really nice for me just to have a part in, a part in it and to like be along with them for it um I always get kind of invested in all of it when you know you're working with people for a few weeks or a few months and going through such a big thing so super exciting um and once this is done it's basically I mean it's done so my job is pretty much done on that end. I'm almost to the house now, just a few minutes away. Um, this house is really cool where it is. It's kind of in like the downtown historic part of Idaho Falls. And it's cool because it's also right down the street from um, the U-Pick, which is one of my favorite things to do um, in the fall here. They have just a giant pumpkin patch and they also have a ton of like games and things like that for kids. Pumpkin cannons and all sorts of cool stuff. They also opened a pizza restaurant like on the property last year, which is really good. Um, and they're also right down the street from the zoo, which is perfect. So I think I told you guys they're pregnant with their first baby right now. So it'll be really convenient for stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's a really good area. I'm just excited for them. Just gave them the keys. We're done. Fun, fun. So it's a few hours later. Um, I dropped the keys off, talked to them for a minute. Um, and then after that, I came home. And then Bryce and Jace and I 
went back out pretty soon after to go get Chick-fil-A to celebrate. Um, and now I'm about to jump on a um, call with a client real quick. And then, I don't know, I think we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night. We ate Chick-fil-A kinda late, so I don't even know if I'm gonna make dinner now. But it's been a good day. And it just started snowing like out of nowhere pretty hard, but I'm super excited about it.